I'm sorry, I have to start over because evidently I did something with my hand on this camera. It's a new camera I got. So um, what I was saying, y'all, was uh, if you have not seen or heard, there is a bill, 6666. And some of y'all know what 666 means. They added another six to it to throw you off. Uh, this bill was implemented by uh, one of the Kennedys, I think Bobby or Robert, one of the two, maybe the same person. Um, this is a tracker system. What they're going to do is track people who have the virus that was released upon us. I kept trying to let you all know that this was not an accident. This was implemented upon the people on purpose because the upper nonchalant, um, the upper people, um, had an agenda all along regarding this and you all start talking about how um the other country did it and all this and stuff and you know and everything because you believe everything that the media tells you and i keep telling you stop believing everything that the media says because think about who owns the media start looking to see who owns fox news who, who owns cnn who owns mb uh, NC or something like that, NCMB, one of those channels that's supposed to be mainstream. Let me tell you something, this cannot go anywhere but down because if they think you have this virus, okay? Now this virus has the same exact symptoms as the flu, as a sinus infection. Uh, some of us have allergies real bad. They can distribute a fever, uh, things like that. So this is what they're going on. I told you also that with this virus, there have been false, false positives, meaning these people don't have it, but because you have mostly all these symptoms, they're going to go ahead and say you have it. It's a false positive, okay? See, I told y'all during that time to bring up your vibrations because fear brings in the thing you fear the most. I said, bring up your vibrations, start thinking positive, don't fall for this because it's something else behind it. Everybody said I was lying, I didn't know what I was talking about, and you know, I'm crazy because I'm not buying into the, to the hype where you have to have a mask and yada, yada, and yada, yada. Let me tell you something. The reason why a whole lot of people pass, uh, and they said it was this, this particular virus, uh, the V, is the simple fact that they were not being taken care of like other people. When they went into a facility or a hospital, they was not being taken care of like the other people. And um, I'm telling y'all, y'all better call your attorney generals of your state. You better call your congressmen, whoever you can call and tell them you don't want this. You voted down and stop being so afraid of life, y'all. I'm telling y'all, like I told y'all, they trying to take our rights. Y'all don't, y'all don't understand. And I've seen so many people in different chats talk about, yes, keep us locked down. Yes, keep us locked down. Y'all know what's best for us. That's like telling your, your master, yes, master, I understand why you beating us with a whip. Keep beating us, please. You know what's best for me. Yes, master. I, I, I'm, I'm wrong because my skin color is black. Just beat me. Just beat me. Y'all better wake up and smell the freaking coffee before you have no rights left. Do you understand how important this is right now? Stop sleeping. Stop waiting on everybody else to do something and you do something. It's called 6666. It's four sixes. Some people are already talking about it on YouTube right now. Uh, it's called uh, the tracker, the COVID-19 tracker or something like that. It's already on YouTube. And... Uh, one of the people that's in California is given a, has given a press conference about that's what they're going to do. And they feel it's necessary to keep everybody safe and stuff like this. That's crazy as hell. Excuse my language, but that's crazy. And y'all know I don't even cuss. So if it got me cussing, then this, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like I said, when this first started, everybody kept saying, Ah, oh, Coco, you don't know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, Coco, it's not that bad. Ah, oh, Coco, it's necessary. I don't mind staying in because I don't want that virus uh, and all this and stuff. And I'm like, y'all, really? And some of these people claim to have many degrees and mid claim to be very intelligent. But you didn't see this coming? So y'all can say what y'all want, but I, honey, I am a Jesus follower and I know he speaks to me. Like I said, I've been warning people that there was something behind this. Anytime they make a big deal about something, it's something else that they don't want you to focus on. 
Remember that if you remember nothing else, anytime they start talking about something that's all over the news and all this and stuff, that means there's something else going on, y'all, that they don't want you to know. And I remember telling people, I said, if they're making a big uh, a mess about this virus right here, what is it? I said, it's something behind us they don't want us to see. That's what I'm more concerned about, not what they're showing us, but what they're not. And these are the same people you vote into office all the time. I told y'all this was political. I told y'all that it was something that has to do with the upper nonchalant people, uh, the upper whatever they're called, the people who uh, make the decisions for their own personal gain. If y'all don't learn how to pray and stop all this stupid stuff, I mean, and I mean pray because your very life depends upon it. You know, the Bible even speaks, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. Then I will heal their land. Then I would hear. But we ain't even doing that. We're not even doing that. And then we get mad because things don't go our way. And then we want to talk about Jesus, Jesus, that y'all Jesus lovers and y'all this and the Bible don't say that. I can do what I want to do because the Bible, you don't even know what the Bible say. You understand one meaning because it rubs your flesh the right way, but you don't understand the other meaning because it doesn't. I'm just saying, y'all don't have to listen to me still, but I'm telling y'all, and everybody's talking about, well, I'm just going to get a gun. I'm just going to get a gun. Yeah, okay. Okay. But why you have an option to call your people, your representative in your state and tell them you don't want this, do it. Because they can implement a bill, but they have to vote on it. They can, they can give it a trial run, and that's what they're trying to do. I'm sorry. But y'all, I've been, I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't get in y'all prayer closet and start praying and ask the Lord to bind this up and not to let this happen, you better. Some of these people have lived 100 years, over 100 years, 70-something years, 60-some years. And of course, their system is going to be weak. Of course, they may have a little fever of 100. And you mean to tell me? And, and here's the thing. If you share a bathroom, like if it's three or more people in the house. This man coming back again, y'all getting on my nerves. Wait a minute. Okay, so if it's three or more in the bathroom and one of y'all, I mean in the house, one of y'all have the virus, they're going to remove that one because they don't want you sharing the bathroom. They don't want you sharing. Just Okay, just say you married. You and your spouse is in the house. Your spouse has the virus. They're going to remove your spouse because they don't want your spouse and you who's not sick to share the same bathroom or eating, or eating facility or anything like that. So they're going to forcibly take your, your spouse out of the house. What about if you have an elderly mother that you take care of and all of a sudden they come to test your mother or your father and your mother or your father has the quote unquote symptoms. They're going to remove your mother or your father from your care, from your house and put them somewhere. Is that okay? What if you, okay, talk about your kids. What if you're in the house and one of your kids has a fever or whatever? We know kids catch fevers all the time, but they have a fever or something. They say, oh, they got the virus. They're going to take your kids. Now, does that, does that hit home? Is that important enough for you to get up the number and start calling your representatives and stuff? Because this is crazy. I keep saying it's turned into, what is that thing, Hunger Games, where the government controls everything you do, Everywhere you go, everything you eat, everything you say, don't let this bill take place. It's not going to turn out right. Now, I come on here and I talk about a lot of stuff. I talk about what I've been through. You know, I talk about a lot of stuff. But this right here is important. So if you don't never, 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 never listen to another video of mine, I hope you listen to this. Because I'm telling you, if you don't get on this now, you're not going to have any rights. And African American people, they already want to take our rights as it is. So you need to be bombarding the state, your attorney general, your mayor, your governor, your representative, whoever you got to call. You need to be doing that and tell them, we don't want this. 
because it's an invasion of our privacy. It's an invasion of our rights as, as citizens that's written in the Constitution. That's all I got to say. This is Coco 929. I'm interested to see how many people at least listen to this, at least share this, at least comment on this. Because this ain't about roasting and gagging right here. This is about saving your freaking life and the life of your loved ones. And I know people have a problem with stuff like this. You know, it's not funny. It's not entertaining. So therefore, you know, everybody has a problem with this. But I'm telling you something. It ain't going to be on my hand. It's going to be above me. Because I know for a well, I know for a fact, my house has the blood of Jesus on it. And my family has the blood of Jesus on it. And I know when God wants me to warn people of stuff, and this is what I'm doing. I'm sounding the alarm. What you do with the information, you come this guy again. He's rude as heck. Anyway, what you do with the information is on you. But you can't say you don't know. Because I've seen, you know, when I did that thing about African-American men being hunted, uh, uh, species being the most wanted species, uh, the, whatever I said in that video, you know, I understand, people didn't like that video because I wasn't dogging people. I wasn't dogging, you know, our black men. I was standing up for them. Are you serious? Is this, I mean, for real. Me personally, I'm not knocking no back. Here comes this boy again. He's getting on my nerves. Me personally, I'm not knocking anybody who, you know, you do what you do, you run your channel how you run your channel. And some people that do it, I support them. I like to laugh too, I like to have fun. I support them, no big deal. But that shouldn't be the only thing that we support. And then let me say about me as far as Coco. The numbers, I don't even understand how YouTube works. So let me just go say that now. Somebody can teach me what, what all that mean and how to get monetized and all that, and I thank you. But I wanted a platform, a worldwide platform, where I can give my voice to what's going on. So people can hear me and understand and spread the word. That's what my platform is about. I'm not knocking nobody else, so don't at me. So, I'm just saying, look at my roses. That's stuff like that that I love and enjoy. Anyway, I'm just letting y'all know. You do with it what you want. But when I tell y'all, Jesus is soon to come back, and I know y'all don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. That's, that's the truth. So, again, it's off me, because I've said everything I had to say about this. I hope you do what's right. I don't know the number to your attorney general, or your, uh, your governor, or your mayor, or your representative in your state. But all that should be in, your, in uh, the yellow pages, or you should be able to Google it. You Google everything else. You should be able to Google that. And there's something behind these checks, too. So don't just be so happy to take these checks. Yes, we need it and use it for what you need it for. But when I tell you it's something behind this, too, see, they, that's what I'm saying. They distract you with, with dangling little things in front of your face so you won't question nothing. So that's all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. I hope y'all listen. I hope... Man, I hope y'all paying attention. Because I love my brother and sister. And my bro am I my brother's keeper? Absolutely. And you ain't even got to like me to share this. I don't care if you do or don't. Let's just get this straight. But I, I love everyone. I may not like your ways. But I love everyone. Because you know what? I'm not going to have no gate trouble. Meaning when it comes to me standing before Christ. He ain't going to say deport for me. Seriously. So I'm going to shut in for a while. I am. I know what time it is. This is not no gloom and doom, but this is very necessary for me to come on here and say this. Very necessary. So um, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my Mother's Day. My guests will be here soon. I'll be taking my mama her plate because she wasn't feeling good. I'm telling y'all, I can't, I can't say I can stand by and watch nobody snatch my mama on, on the thing that they think she has. No. And, uh, oh, it, it, says, it says it's positive. Ain't nothing positive. 
All I'm gonna say is do what you gotta do. Make them calls, make them calls, make them calls. Make your voice count. Y'all see what happened when we all band together about that black boy that was killed by them two white men. Something happened. This is Coco 929. Smooches.